Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page in which I try to talk about common sense. I try to keep it down and in the gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, I'm very, 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 fucking, and go ahead. And now I'm going to liberals, libertars, people believe in God, people like small people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like demon tea, people who basically cannot think outside the box, people who don't like education and research. I am part of the Emerald Knowledge, Peel, Esoteric, uh, Hyperion, Hyperion, any type of high knowledge individuals of the elite. Of course, I am in this human body, and you should know me by now and my energies just by listening. And if you listen, you shall learn. But of course, as the title says, and the title says, and the title says, it says how to de-escalate from a woman's perspective, a conscious woman. Because I talk to some conscious women out there. The problem is, is that when I find conscious women, they already are battered up. Or they're already not virgins, okay? So they'll probably already slept with like five guys. And as I said before, uh, conscious women are very rare. But this information comes from conscious women of how to de-escalate any arguments or dis disagreements before there's a domestic dispute depending on the man that they deal with um i've encountered a few of them in my life okay so I, as i said before i do positive things in my videos too now here and what i learned from these cautious conscious women conscience they take precaution and understanding that education is very important and discipline is very important as well so Instead of me expressing my uh, gratitude to the few females, uh, Tree and Joanna, okay, that I know who are cautious sisters, okay, black, okay. Of course, I have not really encountered too many white sisters who are cautious or conscious, okay, or knowledgeable or no waltz or dragon queens. They are not unicorns. Uh, as I said before, um, I keep, you know, I've encountered some conscious females who think they're unicorns and they're not because they became conscious later on in their life so i get this information from them so i'm telling you any female who's actually listening to me these this is how you can de-escalate a problem with your man okay most men so they if you ask your man would you like to have a sister woman to get in our relationship okay right ask that question okay please if you don't ask that question, you might have a problem later on in your life. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the steps on how to de-escalate things. Because it, it's either a, it's, a, it's an incompatibility issue. It's, it's, it's either a, a sexual issue. Okay, and I know you might not be able to listen to me. But I talk to individuals who have, who have a lot of knowledge. And of course, in my past, I used to be an ex-jigalower and also ex-scorter. And I know a lot of knowledge on psychologicals and dark psychology. But of course, what the hell? What is that noise? I need you to pay attention out here. Okay. So to de-escalate something, let's say you're a female who's lived in the hood, didn't have your father figure. If you want to de-escalate something, it's, even if he says something rude or even mean, try to understand where that came from. Okay, because it's nine times out of ten. A man is very simple and easy to understand. But women make it actually complex because they really did not have the desire or craving for that man from the beginning. Okay, so now I hope I said something correct there because that is definitely true for most women in most occasions now here. And when I say this, I said ordinary women. The most ordinary women, not conscious sisters who become aware, they will have an argument with a male because he's highly attractive. And you know the nature of a man is to have multiple women. Okay, and so you can have bigger families. Women should know this. To build a family, you must have lots of children and have a good prominent business. Okay, you, you, you. It's security. See, women think of security as a measure to make sure a man has money, correct? So when a man brings you into his dominion, see, remember the word he, his, is his dominion. You must make sure to respect that man because he had done everything he possibly can, even regardless if he cheated or not. See, and you have to humble yourself and try to find a way without using any combative measures like you hurt me. You shouldn't have cheated. You should, you should know the nature of a man is to have multiple women. 
Okay, let's let's understand that powerful men nature is supposed they're supposed to have multiple women. Now, if you automatically think, okay, he's only for me, then you would train wrong as you were growing up. You have to re-educate yourself on how that works. Okay, do you think what kind of benefit can a woman proceed to have if she has multiple male dicks? I'm just being straightforward with you. She can only reproduce one time, correct? Okay, she can only reproduce one time, and it takes seven, my nine months. During that nine months, he's horny as fuck, okay? Just this, this call it like it is. He's a simple-minded man, okay? He probably got a few hobbies that he likes and shit. I don't care what the fuck it is, you know? Men don't have too many complexities in their fucking life. You should know this. All women should know this by now, okay? So if you're an ordinary woman and you have not been taught that, at an early stage, then you should not argue with that man. If he brings you in his dominion, you should not argue. Not even if he's in the wrong, you should never do that. Especially if he brought you in his dominion, okay? Remember that he did the work to bring you in. And you're going to put work on him because you're in disagreement with him, which you should never do. Because the Bible, if you, if you want to go there, the Bible says to be humble, even if your man is in the wrong. And nine times out of ten, the Bible was a patriarch, so you you really don't have no you won't have a leg to stand on. Because nine times out of ten, people we must go to the court and they lie fifty percent of the time. If a man actually had to hit you, then you did something wrong. You have to learn a lesson from that smack in the head. If you did not learn your lesson, that'd be smacking the head. No man should put his hands on a woman. Because I use psychology, right? So I'm an alpha male. I don't need to hit you. I'll just say, okay, you want to take the steps? We're going to go there, okay? Because I have backups for everything I say. But most men don't have that capability to back themselves up. So you get them in the corner against their property and against their will. You are not, you are actually not being a woman. Now, this message is for ordinary women. Most women are mostly either on the far left or the far right. If you feel like a diva, you're definitely on the far left. You're not going to even understand my message. You're going to be like, oh, I, I can have many dicks I want. You might just say that. That's a diva. I can do what the fuck I want. That's Lilith. That's the Lilith speaking. That's the demon speaking inside of you. Because you should already know men's nature. If I, it, it, As a matter of fact, I don't disagree with divas. I don't disagree with no female. I just say, okay, we're going to put foundation. If I put a foundation down and you try to screw me and stab me in my back, you deserve what's gift that's coming to you. Because if you run into a psychopath, your ass is done, okay? Like, if you come to me, you, you come correct, and you say, I will kill you and chop off your dick if you cheat. I'm going to be like this. I say, okay, well, I can cheat if you're not being the real woman. Can we do that? You can chop off my dick. You say, we make an agreement. Just, there you go. If I'm not happy, okay, and you ain't giving me what I want, I have a right to cheat, right? Okay, so you can you can chop. I'll put my dick out there. You know I ain't going to do do that, but... Most nine times out of ten, I'm telling the truth. Okay, so that's the alpha man. I'm saying, okay, I'll let you chop off my dick. If I ain't ditch, if I did, if you doing everything you supposed to be doing, right? Check. And the next thing you know, uh, I cheat, which is impossible. If you're doing everything you're doing, and you're, you're diva, he ain't gonna cheat. But if that motherfucker does cheat, okay, you can sneak and chop off that motherfucker's dick. All right, and don't jump to conclusions. Don't make a mistake and chop off his dick because you may you may see a text somewhere and them's like. Hey, you can see my phone anytime. I ain't got shit to hide. I tell you what I'm doing. I'm telling you, this is what I'm doing because you did this. All right, so there we go. If you put everything on the table, most people are just ordinary. So it's it's up to the woman to de-escalate because when the man goes in psychotic mode, because I just got my ass up and I see a couple fighting and shit like that, and I'm like, if that man snaps, he gonna he probably kill you and the baby. So it's best for you to take a walk as a woman. Not him, because he's too angry. You gotta understand a man's anger, your girls, your females. So I'm gonna post it just like what it is. That's how you de-escalate it. You take a walk. You humble yourself. You try to correct yourself. Because you, if you started off talking to the wrong man, you deserve everything you get. It's that simple. You gotta be conscious enough to chick pick the right man from the beginning. But if you didn't have a proper father figure, it's not all your fault. Okay, so you just have to learn the school of hard knocks again, right? So peace and love to brothers. This is the Lightning Dog. Went to my page. That's how you de-escalate de arguments and uh, fundamental domestic, de domestic disputes. 
and, and ask, ask more questions. You know, if you don't, you don't understand something he's saying, ask questions, understand who he is. Okay. Unlike my wife, I kind of knew that she was going to change. Okay. So that's a different whole nother ball game. I, I don't play with women. Women that turn up and dis they, they be disappearing. Their, their bodies are cremated. They go to heaven. The aliens take them. I know. I, I have no idea where you go when I told you so. Okay. So that's me. Okay. I'm, I'm being monitored by camera, so I ain't gonna get caught up by Me Too or false rape accusations. I'm not, I'm not even gonna be, I don't be around women. I, I'm just insane. I'm, I'm schizo. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I don't even say that shit in the court of law. But other than that, peace and love to you, brothers and sisters. Don't want to my page. And y'all have a nice day. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or even roasts, you put it down below. And it's coming from a real alpha. Because I never use, I never fucking use vaginas, baby. I'm sorry. You gotta pay out, okay? Peace.